Hey everyone, it's James George with Web Design Blog, and this week I'm going to talk about exporting SVG files in Photoshop. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been using Photoshop and Illustrator for about a decade now, and Illustrator has always been the go to tool for exporting SVGs. And, you know, I've always kind of wondered, well, where, you know, what about Photoshop? How come you can't do it from Photoshop? And, you know, uh, before it was because vectors weren't really vector files inside of Photoshop, which is complicated. I'm not going to get into all that, but since I started implementing true vectors inside of Photoshop, it enabled them to implement SVG files as well. And so the latest update allows you to extract assets from your PSD file. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take a look at this uh, image here, or what I've, what I've got. I basically created uh, this sort of ring shape using two uh, ellipses uh, inside of Photoshop. And so these are shapes and I overlapped and, and that's what I created. So let's just say you've got these two shapes here and you want to export them. You want to export this. So what you want to do is, and this is really easy, you go to File, Extract Assets, and a new window is going to come up with the asset that you want to extract. And you have your dimensions here and you have um, what you're extracting. And you know, there are different settings and things where you can um, export different different sizes. You know, one and a half times, two times for retina displays. You know, you can auto extract uh, assets when updating your document, which that, that's a cool feature because um, whenever you update your Photoshop file, it'll automatically update all the assets that, that go with it, such as, you know, if I change the color of this, what's well, going to update all those files for you automatically, which is really cool. But if you just want to extract one piece, you know, you have this selected. It says, well, you know, this is going to be an ellipse.png. But if you look here, you have the ability to change the format. So uh, when you click this, you have PNG 8, 24, and 32. You have uh, your GIF file, JPEG, and SVG. And so now you can extract the SVG. And it gives you a little warning that says, you know, it'll change the, the layer names a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. I don't care. And it asks you what folder do you want to uh, put them in. So we'll say in a folder called Ellipse on your desktop. And so now, there it is. Look at it, there it is. Just drop it in the browser. There it is. There's your SVG file all inside of Photoshop. And that's it. That's all you have to do. That's my tip for this week. Uh, if you would, uh, please go to webdesignblog.org and uh, follow me. Uh, subscribe to my newsletter and you'll get tips like this in your inbox every week. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week.